Hello, everyone, and welcome to that Eurovision site, Eurovision with a slice of life. I am very happy to be here with Katrina Gopalo. We are in the middle of national final season. It's hotting up, and we're looking forward to Latvia's Supernova, which is taking place on Saturday. And yeah, Katrina will be performing fourth on the night. And how are you doing tonight, Katrina? Hello. So the first question, and probably the most important one that everyone is wondering is, how is your cat? How is my cat? Mm -hmm. uh, my cat named Dakota. Um, she's, um, she's fine. She's, uh, she's uh, sweet and playful. And uh, I'm very sad that uh, these days I can't be at home so, so, so much. I would, would like to be with her to play our games and uh, you know when when she comes to me and and sleeps right here and and do her beautiful brrr, that's that's so so nice but uh but we should wait till uh, sunday sunday morning yes does she is she aware of how famous she is now how is she reacting to the um to having a song written about her uh, actually, um, we played and I sang this song uh, so many times at home because I need to practice my moves and voice and everything. Um, I think she already reacts to it. So she, she began to be like more playful and maybe a little bit crazy, you know, these crazy cat moves when, uh, when I start to sing the song. And I know it's like lots of pet owners have little songs that they sing to their animals. Did this start out as almost like a song that you sang to her and then it became a real song? Or was it kind of you were in the studio and you came together? Uh, actually, the song is like a point of view from cat. So it's not like I'm singing to cat. It's like, so that's the name, uh, cat's song. So it's a song probably maybe if if they could sing they would sing something like that so i wanted in the song like became a cat um uh, and tell everybody what they maybe want to tell us and um this experience with a cat this is the first time in my life i never had uh, cats before um and this is so interesting and thrilling and sweet and fluffy and nice. And um, it gave me a really, really big inspiration uh, to write a song about her. And um, I have uh, three friends um, who are sharing this studio where I'm right now. Um, two music producers, Armand Svarslavans and Edgar Svilzans, and uh, also singer-songwriter Evie Smagare. And I told them about, uh, about my idea to write a song about Kat and uh, that I want the song to send to Supernova because um, uh, we, we talked a lot about what kind of song could represent Latvia, what would be great, what should we do to finally go to final in the big Eurovision. And we have a lot of theories, what should we do and how, how should be, how should the sound, uh, um, the song. And um, and when I said them about the cat song, they, uh, at the first moment there there was so happy about this idea and they said yes let's do that and we went um, and we went uh, far away from Riga from Latvia's capital city we went to countryside to one week uh, and we lived there we we made a lot of music and uh, had some beautiful tasty food and wine and everything as you can imagine and um, at one night uh, we uh, wrote the song about cat and um, it went really like smooth 
happy and fast and uh, I, I think uh, it was very natural the way the song bor bor was born yeah. born yeah I mean it's it's a very fun song it's a very natural song you said it came about so easily uh, and I can you really hear that because it's just so kind of out there and it just kind of is so confident in what it is I mean, were you inspired by other songs coming when you were writing that song? Other Eurovision entries? Because you said he wrote it to be a Eurovision song. Uh, yes. Uh, so the first thing is that Eurovision, this is a very unique competition and nothing in the world could be compared to that. This is like phenomenal competition. And um, this is about about something new, something exceptional, extraordinary, extravagant. This is not about normal radio hit. This is something else. So all the normal songs can go to other competitions. We should make something special and, um, and something that could be so catchy to stay in people's mind and like an air uh, of warm for uh, for many hours and to stay with them and and you know that's that, that that's the idea i think of uh, of the competition and and also we should be like different we shouldn't be all the same because it's also not about that it's it's eurovision it's about different cultures different uh, different places different cities different everything so in these um differences it's it's like like a pleasure of that not about we are all the same yes we're all the same in our hearts but we have something to share with others something interesting to introduce our culture yeah definitely and you're definitely doing something very interesting with what your song is i mean what's your relationship to eurovision did you grow up watching it do you have favorite yes artists? Of course, yes, of course, and I remember how I watched Eurovision for for many years with my parents when I was a little girl, and uh, we voted very, very much for every artist uh, we liked each year, and um, I actually then I never like even dreamed that I would be so so close to that as I am right now. And uh, first time I felt that this is real only, only now. That's brilliant. Before that, it was so, so big and so far and so... Uh... So how has the process been of being part of this whole journey? Very, very positive. And uh, uh, I don't know, I have a feeling inside that I could hug whole world because I never felt so much love uh, from from different people I don't know I never met in my life and I'm I'm so so happy that I could make with my friends with my colleagues such a song and also with the choreographers such a performance which which can give uh, happiness, a smile, a joy to people. And for me, that's that's the main mission of the artist, to give something emotional to the audience, to, to maybe even change something in their mood, in their mind, uh, to give them energy not only like a nice nice something you know nice what is uh, what sounds behind you no change something because i think that music is a is a gift from cosmos or from from the god and uh, it should like cure people cure their souls Definitely. I that's that's so powerful.
Um, and you have quite a, you know, you've done a lot of music in your time. Just looking through what you've done, you like the stuff with Edith Piaf, the Edith Piaf evening. Um, yeah. Uh, the, you know, your albums that have come out were quite poppy. And then now you're coming into this, which is a very kind of unique yeah. sound. Um, what's your musical journey been? I started as a classical pianist and I studied here in Riga and then in Royal Academy of Music and then in America and California in Music Academy of the West. And then I wrote my first song and that was a pop song, not a classical song. And uh, this this changed everything and um, it is so, so different to make and perform your own music. Of course, it's it's very interesting and powerful when you play, I don't know, piece by Beethoven or Chopin or anything, but but you're, um, you're interpreter. You're not like a composer. You, you can play that way or this way, but you have a, um, sheet music and you have to do what is written on that. In, um, in, in the, uh, when I perform my songs, I can, I can do whatever I want. I can write whatever I want. And uh, this process is more uh, like playful because you can, you can uh, create something from the zero point to the like, 100 percent point so it changed everything and i started to compose my songs i released the uh, first album which which was uh, i think that was uh, like jazz rock something like that with a band and um, a song named intoxicating caramel was in supernova 2018 that was a song probably the second song I wrote in my life. So it, it was just, just the beginning. And I at the, this time, I didn't know anything about songwriting, about show business, about, I don't know, music production, like nothing. I, I was just, just a beginner. And um, it was very fun and interesting, like, like crazy journey. This, my first time at Supernova. And um, after that, I had uh, many, many different uh, concerts and concert programs already as a singer you know, with my songs, with um, different programs. And, and, and here we are. And finally, I found a um, very, very talented uh, music producer, Edgar Svilsons. He's working right there right now and um, and we made uh, already a few big hits in Latvia and also this this one the cat songs and actually in the, in the studio uh, were made not only my song for the supernova but also Alex Silver's song just for the show Edgar is a producer to him also Sasha Seal song and uh, Bad Habit song was mixed by our studio. So it's a quite a great, um, I don't know, statistic. Yeah, and it's good to see that there's this like interchange that the Latvian meet, like Supernova is a celebration of the music yeah. as much as it is a competition. I mean, yeah. speaking of Supernova, I mean, what other songs are you do you like that are in the selection? What are your favorite songs from the selection? You know, it's hard to say because uh, uh, I always say that Alex Silver just for the show because I was uh, near when this song uh, started, you know, started to live and I heard all the process and I fell in love and I I, I just can't when, when they're, um, when Alex is singing the song and I'm somewhere backstage, I, I hear that and I want sing with him and also we went together to the radio uh, maybe you know we had to make acoustic versions of our songs and i played piano for alex song so i, I like the song very much that's so that's so nice to hear are you looking forward to saturday uh uh yeah are you looking forward to saturday yes i do 
Yes, I do. We we have some uh, interesting changes in um, in choreography and maybe even outlook and. Oh yeah, and what what can you tell us? Nothing, but I, I can tell that. Uh, I want to entertain you uh, very much. And uh, I don't like to make the same thing all over again. I, 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 I just don't know why we should, should do that way because you can, you know, uh, watch at YouTube uh, as how we did it at the semifinal. So uh, I hope um, we will make all our changes and I hope you will enjoy that. Yeah, I, I really, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, what would it mean to you to represent Latvia at Eurovision if you were to win? Um, of course, great honor, but not only. Um, it would be a big, big happiness to meet so many people and uh, to sing for millions of people and to share with them uh, my love and energy and uh, to see their smiles and uh, reactions and how they are doing like that and maybe this also and um, I hope to I hope to give I hope that I would be able to give uh, this joyful and maybe light feeling um, to as many people as I can. That's so wonderful. Um, yeah, I mean, do you have a message for people who are just discovering your, you and your music uh, to our listeners and to people watching this video? I hope you're doing well and uh, I hope you will enjoy um, Saturday's show and uh, be as, as as nice and sweet as you are and smile to the world, smile to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors and people on the streets. And I think uh, it, it could be, it, it will be better that way in any case, if we will smile and be warmer to each other. Oh, that's so lovely. And... Uh, if people want to check out any of your other music, uh, what should they listen to? Oh, they should uh, they should wait for my new album in English. But while they are waiting, they can go to Spotify on YouTube and uh, find uh, other beautiful songs. Um, Right now they're in Latvian, but uh, but we're working on um, English songs too, so hopefully soon. But Latvian are also also very enjoy uh, enjoyful, and I don't know if there's such a word enjoyful, joyful. I know, doesn't matter. Um, so yes, uh, you you can look, you can check it out, and I think you will find something for yourself. That is so. Thank thank you for that. Um... So that was Katrina, and she, as I said, she'll be performing on Saturday in Latvia's Supernova. Um, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you also. Thank you.